गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडेज वीडियो वी विल कंटिन्यू विद सेकेंड टेंस ऑफ प्रेजेंट एंड टेंस एंड इट इज प्रेजेंट कंटिन्यूस टेंस इट इज वेरी पॉपुलर अमंग ऑल एज वी जनरली यूज दिस टेंस सो द एज द नेम सजेस्ट प्रेजेंट कंटिन्यूस मीन्स दिस टेंस सजेस्ट अबाउट सम एक्शन और सम वर्ब that is going on at the time of speaking like you can see in the sentence english teacher is teaching me now means so this tense talks about an action that would continue at the time of speaking second example is also there i am not talking with him at this moment second use of present continuous tense it is to show a temporary action which is not in the action at the time of speaking means it's a temporary action and not in going form not in doing i am working with mr ramesh now a day and the sense is but i am not working at this moment so the the phrase nowadays tells you that third use of this is for programs which are fixed in advance generally we use it and i have told it to you in class 9th also we call it future time reference though it is referring to future tense but the sentence is in present like i am leaving for agra next sunday so the tense you are using is present tense as we are using am and leaving ing but still it has a sense it suggest you that anything is to be done in future but that it is well fixed in advance this is the structure of present continuous tense especially for the sentence which are affirmative or we call them positive so it's a simple structure like we we did in previous tense present definite tense similarly subject will come plus is am are any one of these three plus verb in ing form plus object and any other part if it is left like complement part there are some sentences which have more than object some additional phrase or sentence oh sorry words so we use them you don't have to confuse about this we will use only one at one time if the subject is i definitely we will use am if the subject is singular noun or pronoun so we'll use is if i say he is she is my friend is but with i am if the subject is plural or the pronouns which are plural for them we'll use are so this way we use it like i am learning english so with i i used am with he is and again in third sentence you so you is second person pronoun always treat as plural so with you we always use are so it is used this way now let's talk about negative sentence that has a sense of negation so always the simple thing the formula is almost the same only we have to add not between helping verb and main verb this is a simple change we have to do only otherwise the formula of negative sentence and positive is same so here are sentences like you can see subject i then am helping verb again after helping verb and before main verb there is not learning english there are many more sentences you can see them helping verb and main verb in between you will place not because it is a negative sentence 
now it is interrogative that is used to ask question inquiry and i have told in previous video also that it's a firm rule that we always use interrogative sentence with modal or auxiliaries or with other helping verb except some rare cases exceptions so likewise this is very simple as we did in previous tense also it will start with helping verb or interrogative word so this is yes no type question so with yes no type question we started with the same helping of given in the sentence and the condition is will drag the subject at second place and will take this helping verb from here to the first place this is the only change we generally do and finally we put a question mark so helping verb at first is mr then subject then verb ing form why ing form because the work is being shown as continuous then object and then complement part like you can see subject is at second place now subject is i and you can see this i a here so i is at second place m that is helping verb in positive sentence you must have seen that helping verb is mr was at second place but here it is at first place then second as subject then main verb and then object and question mark so this is the structure formula you can note it down and there are certain sentences you will have to practice more than 10 sentence for each section to make it well understanding now the second type of interrogative sentence and uh, we call it ws type interrogative sentence or ws word why we call it ws or ws type because we cannot answer for all such questions by simply saying yes or no suppose if i say is he doing his work so you can answer yes or you can answer no but if i say why he is doing his work today you will have to give a reason for it you cannot answer for such sentence by simply saying yes or no so that is why we call this sentence ws type like you can see here so the formula is little change almost it is same but only one change we can see here almost same question mark at last this ws word or ws type word interrogative word will use first otherwise the formula is almost same as it was in yes no type sentence so we'll use that interrogative word or ws type word in very beginning like where am i learning english where is he coming so what we have used here where first then is auxiliary then subject and then v first ing question mark so you can see this structure has been fulfilled used here now interrogative with negative so the formula is same it is almost complete interrogative sentence ws type interrogative sentence you simply have to add not between main verb and helping verb but our subject in this case is not here subject is not here subject is here so we'll use it after subject and actually it is between helping verb and main verb but between this subject is also there because it is interrogative sentence had it been a positive negative sentence only so we would have no wh so we would use subject then helping verb then main verb and between helping and main verb we, we would use not but here the structure is interrogative also so and it is wh type interrogative so interrogative word 
then auxiliaries after auxiliaries subject as per the rule of interrogative sentence now as per the rule of negative sentence before the main verb main function will use not so that it will give a sense of the action is not being done at that time you can see the examples where is he not coming why are you not confusing me so why then auxiliary verb then subject you is subject then it is not so after subject it is means it is between main verb confusing and helping verb but as per the rule of interrogative sentence we had to use subject also here so this way we practiced present continuous tense today it, though it is looking very simple but at majority of such cases we need much practice otherwise we can be confused while using where to use am where to use are where to use is so you are requested to note it down in your fair grammar notebook all the formula and at least 10 to 15 sentences for your own good practice will next video will practice present perfect tense thank you